this is not a sponsored post, nor is it PR. I wanted to do this video uh, more than a year ago, actually. But yeah, because the projects have been my friends since 2016. But you know, other things got in the way. And uh, because the beginning of a year is a great time for a detox, and because these products are perfect for nights when you can't be asked to do a you know, 10 step or 12 step or even a 4 step or uh, any kind of skincare routine at all, you just want to crash as soon as you've cleansed. Uh, and because they just launched on Space and Care, I thought this was timely enough, so off we go. In 2016, the year that I got into skincare, Cult Beauty retailer, uh, had a full goodie bag and uh, I got the goodie bag, it was gift of purchase. So it contained full size products and there were two sachets inside from a brand called Allies of Skin. It was a brand that I'd never heard of before, based in Singapore and manufacturing in the United States. So there were two overnight masks and two day masks in there. So one weekend I was staying with my grams and gran and uh, I didn't you know pack much skincare all I did was take the full goodie bag and a few other things and just went off and I thought all right I'll try one of these sachets overnight mask so I applied it and went off to sleep and in the morning I woke up went to brush my teeth saw my face in the mirror put my toothbrush back got straight back online went to Cult Beauty and bought the full-size product and left a review. That's exactly what happened because the results were so, so, so amazing. So Allies of Skin, as I said, uh, based in Singapore, is uh, a cruelty-free brand founded by Nicholas Travis, who graduated in medical biomedical sciences. So as a student, he, like most of us, struggled with cystic acne. When I was a student, I did not have cystic acne happened only after I started working. I have no idea why. So it was while searching for non-comedogenic products that uh, the, the germ of the idea took root and he went on to complete his master's in business where he outlined the plan to start, start a skincare line which he had conceived during his science education. So that's how the brand was born. Now here's what Cult Beauty has to say, the embodiment of three main principles, effortlessness, speed and efficacy, Allies of Skin is back to basics beauty for the modern multi-hyphenate. Deafened by the noise within the beauty industry, creator Nicholas Travis found shopping for products to treat his acne both intimidating and bewildering. So he decided to develop his own simple suits or ritual for tired, stressed and problematic skin types. Farm in his belief that skincare should empower the three-step three routine is straightforward but phenomenally hard-working, protecting from pollution while hydrating and repairing to maintain skin's health and save the acid. So the three-step routine is essentially cleanse, mist, mask. So all products can also, I mean, it doesn't have to be a three-step routine. They can also be worked into your usual routine. I mean, I tend to use them on uh, alongside other products as well although i admit i save these for those nights when i can't be asked to do anything else and uh, all products are allergy tested as well none of them contains wheat believe it or not i'm so lucky there and they come in two packaging with pump mechanisms i'll talk about each product in a minute so disclosure i did work with allies of skin back in late 2016 early 2017 once but uh, i haven't after that no pr everything in here is bought by me and everything in here is time. So let's talk about the products themselves and the routine. There are, in addition to four different kinds of serums, I will be doing a video on the serums if you want me to do one, eventually, not immediately. And they also have a couple of cleansers, a mist, and three overnight masks, and a day cream. So that's the entire range. The day cream I won't be buying. The four serums, apart from the hyaluronic acid serum, I have the mandelic serum, the vitamin C serum, and uh, the new peptide, the antioxidant serum, which I am trying out right now. So I also have all the overnight masks, and I don't have the latest cleanser, but I do have two of the previous cleansers, and I also have the mist. So let's talk about the products and the routine. First, you cleanse. I admit that I don't use these cleansers on a daily basis. Fresh Slate Brightening Cleanser and Fresh Slate Purifying Cleanser. This contains vitamin C. This is a clay-based cleanser. This one contains clay as well. Now, this is the packaging. So, although this is a squeezy tube, in here you have a pump mechanism. 
Now, these cleansers can also be used as a mask, as rinse off masks, and that's what I like to do. So, I save these because of the cost. I'll tell you about the prices in a minute. Hang on, let me just try to put these inside. So, this video is not about the cleansers, so you won't hear much about this. Post cleansing, this mist goes on, right? The Allies of Skin Molecular Savior, this is the toner mist. It's now rebranded, relaunched as the Molecular Savior Probiotics Mist. And it was £48. Now the price is £60. If you are buying from Singapore, it is £55. Sorry, $55. Uh, I hope to visit Malaysia later this year, around holiday season. And hopefully I will be finding these at a lower price. If so, I will let you not know uh, when I do a haul or something. Uh, I plan to buy a lot of K-Beauty and J-Beauty when I'm there. And uh, hopefully I'll find these for a lower price, in which case I will definitely be stocking up. So this mist, it is a runny facial spritz that you can spray uh, before you mask, before your overnight mask, as well as through the day. There's no alcohol in here. It doesn't evaporate all at once. So this, the pH of this thing is between 3.5 and 4.3, which is incredible. Uh, it is an aloe vera rose water base and contains a blend of probiotics and six antioxidants, including lactobacillus ferment, niacinamide, and acai berry, as well as colloidal silver, silk amino acids, and ergothionine. Uh, so a lot of these ingredients are very sciencey, and I have no idea how they're pronounced. I haven't studied science after school. So this mist is meant to balance the pH of the skin, provide antibacterial protection, hydrate the skin, and it claims to reduce acne lesions by 42% after four weeks use. Now I must say that these masks, this, this routine has really, really, really helped with my acne. 2016, early 2016 was when I had that massive breakout that left me repeated acne scars. And uh, I, ha I had a mini breakout in uh, mid-2018 because of wheat. A lot of cortisones went into my body, hydrocortisone, because of the angioedema uh, that followed wheat allergy, uh, wheat exposure, and uh, the steroid drops gave me acne. But, you know, you can't expect anything to work with the steroids. However, these did help reduce the breakouts. I actually have a before and after breakout picture on my blog, which is a place where I first reviewed this uh, range. So now we come to the crux of this video, the overnight masks. The first one, start here. This is your uh, first step, as it were, before you graduate to stronger overnight masks. These are masks that you do not rinse off. These are not sleeping packs as such. They're treatment and hydrating masks that serve a purpose you leave them on, you can apply on bare skin, you can apply above other products in your routine, you can apply it just above the molecular savior mist. Entirely up to you. So the first one is the 1A overnight mask, currently rebranded as the 1A retinol and peptides overnight mask. Was £87, currently £112 for 15 mils. Is $109 in Singapore if anybody is visiting the Far East or is already in the Far East. Lucky lot. If you want, you can head over to Cult Beauty and read my review that I left as soon as I tried that sachet that I told you about. So I've left a review there. I will link it in the description box below. Head over and read my review. It starts with, oh my god, and it's titled Cosmetopia Digest of. Incidentally, I reviewed all the three masks on Cult Beauty. So this one is like wiping off a dusty picture in a frame and finding a, an, an old master or hidden masterpiece beneath. That's what using this one is like. So what does Allies of Skin say? A leave-on sleeping pack, this game-changing treatment was developed with the modern multi-hyphenate in mind. Modern hyphenate, I think they mean people who like multitasking products and who can't be asked to do different things. So it works to reverse the daily damage caused by stress, pollution, smoke and alcohol while supplementing the skin's regenerative process to undo the effects of hard work. Brightening, fortifying and intensely hydrating. This also has a dramatic impact on acne. It reduces acne lesions by 67% in 28 days. They do work against acne. They do work against acne. I'm not going to 
Dawn. Formulated with nine antioxidants, five brightness, and the 13.5% peptide complex, the mask helps to minimize signs of aging without irritation. The vegan formula is gentle on the skin, shielding the complexion from environmental aggressors and working to reduce acne breakouts. The mask also diminishes the appearance of blemishes and wrinkles, helping to reduce and reverse sun damage while renewing the skin and boosting its natural defenses. It claims to reduce acne lesions by 67% in 28 days. This range does work wonderfully against acne. It does. The claims are true. I don't know about 67% or 48% and so on. It does help with acne. That's all I'm saying. So this one is supposed to stimulate cellular renewal, regenerate and repair the skin while you sleep, reduces ac acne lesions and can be used every day, including beneath the eye area. Now, despite all the potency that it claims to have, there is no tingling, sticking or discomfort. In my case, I'm used to strong acids, mind you. I like using this above my serum, sometimes on its own when I can't be asked. Uh, sometimes even above a lightweight emulsion. You know, you can do what you like with this one. So this is yellow, easy to spread and creamy, and it contains so many ingredients with which skin junkies are familiar. Retinol, it's a very mild form of retinol, you know. There's also niacinamide, uh, gothionine, about which we spoke when I talked about the molecular savior mist. Glutathione, sodium hyaluronate, a bunch of peptides, tetrapeptide 7, tetrapeptide 3, oligopeptide, and a bunch of plant extracts that act as antioxidants. So the retinol in here is retinol retinol which is a very mild and gentle form of retinol, which is why I said this is your first step. Start here. If you are very new to acids or peeling masks or retinol, this is where you start. It's a mildest one. I have reviewed this in detail on my blog. I will link that in the description box below. The next is my joint favorite. Why joint favorite? Because the next two are my joint favorites actually. I like this one so much. I actually bought another one. So yeah, let's do. Right, this is the Promise Keeper Blemish Facial costing £122. Uh, it's $120 if you're in Singapore. And I think that I did not spend that much when I bought it. So what is this one? Nightly leave-on treatment mask, according to Allies of Skin. pH 5.2 to 5.7, that's pH. Supercharged with a powerful blend of 17% anti-blemish complex, 15 antioxidants and brightness, colloidal silver and organic rosehip oil to combat breakouts, improve skin texture and lighten blemish masks. Formulated with medical grade Manuka honey, this game changing facial works as you sleep to nourish problematic skin with clean hydration while simultaneously killing acne causing bacteria, unclogging pores, fading old blemish masks, refining skin texture, and brightening the complexion. Incidentally, this one is the winner of the best acne eradicator at the Cosmopolitan Skin Awards 2018. So, this one is specifically an anti acne or acne targeting product. Allies of Skin recommends that you apply it for two weeks around your right before your expected PMSC time until the end of your period in order to deal with those pesky hormonal monthly breakouts and believe me it works I use this two times a week I have been using it for I think two years now two twenty yeah, more than two years now. And I always repurchase this. Incidentally, I have reviewed this on Cult Beauty as well. I will leave a link to that if you want to go and see it. Because this is a range that I absolutely love. Not PR, not sponsored, nothing. So when I'm extremely acne, or when I feel that there are a lot of deep bumps beneath the skin, uh, I cleanse, apply the Molecular Savior Mist, apply a good layer of this one, I may apply a zit sticker or two depending on how, where the bumps are uh, beneath my skin. Depending on that, I may apply a zit sticker or two and crash. And the next morning, everything is much tinier and dealable with, if you know what I mean, <laughs> easy to deal with. So this is an overnight treatment again, 
all you do is apply this. It doesn't have to be combined with the rest of your skincare routine, but you can do so. I have combined this with propolis successfully. I have combined with uh, this with the LGH T3 essence successfully. I've combined this with the eco-king acne serum, but you know, the eco-king acne serum contained wheat and gave me articaria, not the source of vitality. And uh, I've combined it with other, I think it was Dapson, I think, and it's worked each time. So what does it contain? Water, lactobacillus ferment, niacinamide, colloidal silver, rose of oil, uh, a bunch of plant extracts, you know, jalapa, flower, leaf extract, syringa vulgaris, which is lilac, leaf extract, glyceric acid, manuka honey, mandelic acid, azelaic acid, centella asiatica, ginkgo bilbo leaf extract, hyaluronic acid, lactic acid, pyruvic acid, so many good things in this. And despite the potency, it doesn't sting or tingle when I apply it. Not even when combined with other acne treatment products, including the inkyless salicylic acid. So colloidal silver is a star ingredient in here. It works at three. This is wonderful. If you are acne prone, I recommend this one. Even more than the 1A overnight mask. The 1A overnight mask, I will not be repurchasing because I'm over it, I can't take stronger products. So of the three, this one is my least favorite. Right, let's put that out of the way and I'll show you the third one, which I love. So, same product as you can see. This is the backup. This one I've almost finished. So what is this one? The big guns. The face de resistance is from the brand, as it were. Not good at pronouncing French, despite studying it for four years. Sorry. So this is the the you know the strongman series and this is the one that I now apply when my skin is not acneic and I can't be asked to do a full routine. Cleanse my face, apply this, go off to sleep. If I can be asked, I apply the molecular savior mist, you can fit. If I can't, that's all right. It's not going to do anything. Initially, there was some tingling. Maybe when I was around here, up to here, there was some tingling and you know, it was a bit strong, but now I'm used to it. So this one, for best results, Allies of Skin says you should apply three nights in a row. I don't know about that. Uh, I admit to applying it only on nights when I can't be asked to do anything else. However, I have tried it three nights in a row and I, I find the results extremely good. So what is this one? It is an overnight sleeping peel, pH between 3.5 and 3.8, which explains the tingling. How is it different from this one? Stronger stuff. This is the overnight mask 1A. I'm not talking about the Promise Keeper blemish facial because that one is targeted at acne. These two are not targeted at acne, although they help uh, with acne. So this one strong, this one not as strong. 122 pounds, same price as the, uh, the Promise Keeper blemish facial. I don't think I paid that much. It is $128 in Singapore. It used to be called the Bright Future Overnight Facial until recently. They rebranded the name as Bright Future Sleeping Facial. Not much of a difference. Here's what our lives of skin has to say. Stress can take a toll on even the most seasoned go-getter. Harness the reparative qualities of sleep with this game-changing sleeping peel. It delivers intense hydration as its blend of AHAs, retinol and probiotics encourage cellular renewal overnight to reduce imperfections and reveal brighter skin the next morning does exactly what it says in the book. It helps tired skin attain an optimal level of exfoliation in two to three nights. That's why you're supposed to use it three nights in a row. I admit I don't do that. <laughs> it gives the effects of a professional facial overnight. Agree? With cumulative effects seen after two to three nights. Also agree? Its active ingredients are encapsulated inside a pure high molecular weight hyaluronic acid gel. This concentrated hyaluronic acid gel slowly releases the active acids and brightness overnight. By simultaneously boosting hydration levels and exfoliating at the same time, this nourishes the skin twice as much as traditional peels without any of the usual irritation. Incidentally, if you haven't got your 8 hours sleep or 7 hours sleep or even 4 hours sleep, this one makes you look in the morning as you're well rested and it is the, the, the product that I've used so far that gives me that well-rested look 
better than any others that I've ever used. Better than drunk elephants, uh, from boost glycolic acid serum, better than uh, anything really. So the ingredients, water, niacinamide, glycerin, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid, sodium hyaluronic, gallic acid, hydrolyzed silk, honey, cloud berry, retinol dehyde, spin trap, don't ask me what that means, honeysuckle flower extract and a bunch of other botanical extracts that I have no idea how to pronounce. So I haven't reviewed this on my blog, but I have put a review on the Cult Beauty website after buying it. It was a long time ago. I will link my review uh, in uh, the description box below. It reduces the appearance of pores each time I use it. Lovely. It definitely exfoliates. It gives you. It gives me a glow like no other product has. It reduces breakouts. Yes, definitely. It brightens and uh, evens my skin tone if there's any dullness and it also hydrates well i mean there's no peeling flaking in a dry skin in the morning despite the potency no irritation wonderful this is why i said this one is the big guns this one is the gold standard as it were i haven't come across a product like this before and i doubt i even will if the 1a overnight mask was like wiping off a dusty picture to reveal an old master this one is like trading all those pictures, all the all the reprints to reveal the original one. I mean, look at that ingredient list. Have they left out anything at all? This is the one product that uh, I will always, always repurchase. And why haven't I been using it three times a week uh, regularly? Because it dries. I mean, I 122 pounds for 50 mils. No, I'm going to use it only on nights when I can't be asked to do anything else in my routine. Very late night. Cleanse, double cleanse, remove your makeup, apply this off to sleep. That's it. So my conclusion, the allies of skin overnight masks do wage war on hyperpigmentation, on acne, on dullness, on uneven skin tone and a host of other skin problems. And they, they, I, I haven't come across anything like this before. Sleeping packs, yes, I've used those, a lot of those from K-Beauty brands. And those are hydrating products. Last step in your routine, apply a sleeping pack. That's to hydrate and to hold everything uh, in there without transepidermal water loss. And then you go off to sleep. That's fine. These are not, you know, hydrating masks as such. They're, they're all in ones, you know, they're all inclusive products, multi hyphenate, as the brand keeps claiming. They hydrate, they exfoliate, they treat, they nourish, they do everything. So that's. What I have to say about the three overnight masks from Allies of Skin, I do know they have other products. They have four serums, I've got three of them, the last of which I'm only testing out. So I will, I may do a video on the serums eventually, not anytime soon. And uh, they have a couple of cleansers as well. In a nutshell, those are my thoughts on the cleansers that I do have. I don't have their latest uh, cleanser though, I'm afraid. I don't know if I will be getting because I'm happy about my cleansers. These three though are worth it, definitely. Despite the uh, price tag i think these overnight masks are definitely worth it and of the three if your skin is used to exfoliation and acids i'd say don't buy this then buy the other two if you're if you're acne prone buy these two if you're not acne prone just this one is more than enough and a little goes a long way you don't have to you know pile it on and it, it it's lasted i think this one's lasted from 2018 this is my first tube actually i haven't emptied another tube uh before and two years 50 mils not too bad eh? and while we're on the topic of price tags i really don't think the hyaluronic serum is worth the price they put on it nor do i think the vitamin c is worth the price tag either because there are other serums vitamin c serums that don't cost that much so have you tried allies of skin have you heard about them i know the space nk is doing campaigns now i have nothing to do with that campaign uh, I have worked with Allies of Skin directly back in 2016, 2017, but not now. Uh, currently, this blog is free of all brand influence. <laughs> this channel, sorry. So, have, have you seen them on Cult Beauty? What are your thoughts? Do you, are you impressed? Are you intrigued? Do tell me all of that in the comments below. If you've used them, I'd love to hear your experiences as well. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. And I'll speak to you soon.